Welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's video cast. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post, and we're jo now joined by Luke Warhurst. You may not know him, but you probably will. Um, so, for a lot of people that may not know who you are, tell tell what what do you do? Yeah. So currently, um, I drive the number twelve four star transportation modified in the Midwest Modified Tour, and. Um, relatively young in terms of racing. I've only been racing five five seasons, starting go-karts, won a few races in that, and then we were like, okay, let's move up in the Legends car. Had some success there, and now we're into a modified and just learning as much as I can racing against some really good drivers. So it's a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll be running up front next so season. So the common story from, you know, how everybody kind of starts, you know, racing and stuff you know they start at five years old they go into go-karts and they eventually move up move on up and eventually get to their you know their ultimate goal whatever that would be but you kind of took a late approach I mean you told me you were start you started at 14 running go-karts um what was that like for you um it's a little different you know I was you know you see kids starting so young and then you kind of get into it when you're older and you're racing against these really young kids but they have a ton more experience than you so it was a little bit challenging at first kind of racing with guys who are a lot younger than me I'm like should I be doing this like what's what's the deal here but I figured it out and I got used to it and I learned a lot from them and it's been a lot of fun just getting the you know race with guys my age and now in a modified now I'm racing with pretty much all guys who are way older than me so it's been quite a quite a change so you're gonna run the mod you're gonna run the series that you're gonna run in next year um if that's is, is that correct yeah the midwest modified tour um not sure some people watching though um brian nestor but gray they uh took over the series and they're trying to kind of revive it and get us to go to the big tracks winchester speedway birch run speedway so we're going to run that series and then run some local shows here at owasso speedway auto city speedway and um hopefully just have some success and keep learning and keep doing what we love. Um, so you said your ultimate goal is NASCAR. I know that, you know, every, every kid's dream is they want to race at the top level of the cup series, which is the cup series if, in terms of NASCAR. Um, where do you, what are your short term goals in the next few years? Um, I think the biggest thing is, you know, first things first, this is my, this past COVID season, as I call it, cause it was cut short was my first year in mod and just kind of getting up to speed and learning and trying to get a few mid pack finishes, which is what we did. And now I think we're ready to, you know, get that first win and just be competitive in these big tour races and really not sure what our definite expectations are yet this early, but um, you know, if we run enough tour races, maybe a top 10 in points and a win or two, and then a few wins at our local tracks and then going, moving moving through the years you know maybe getting into a late model or something going down to north carolina would be just a cool opportunity and then eventually making a name for myself and trying to move up into the lower nascar series and the cup series but right now it's all about winning and just learning from the guys i'm racing with and being the best driver i can be you're also a student at, at michigan and uh, how is that you know balancing school and trying to you know also live your dream as a race car driver yeah, it's a little different, you know, a lot of kids, they're in the dorm all the time, just doing schoolwork, but me, I'm leaving the dorm all the time to go up to the, drive an hour up to the race shop, and I'm working on the car and trying to, you know, talk with sponsors and keep them happy and do racing on the weekends, you know, at least in the spring and fall. So it's not the conventional college experience, but um, it's been good. I've, I've, I love Michigan. I've learned a lot there so far. I'm majoring in sport marketing or sport management. I want to go into sport marketing if race, if driving doesn't work out. So I've learned a lot and it's, it's a really cool experience. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is, you know, what do you want to take? I mean, kind of going in next few years is, are you trying to, are you, have you talked to like late model teams? Um, would you consider going to ARCA in the next few years or something like that? Yeah. Um, Pretty much so far, it's just been, you know, a few phone calls and talking to people and just exploring what's out there. There's, there's got no, like, real offers or anything, but 
um, if we get our funding where it needs to be and I feel like I'm ready to move up as a driver, then I think um, doing a late model deal in North Carolina is a possibility. Um, and then obviously, yeah, moving into ARCA or trucks would just be a dream come true to have an opportunity with a team like that. But um, as you know, funding comes with it. So just got to keep working hard and keep growing the following and hoping for the best, getting the good results. All right, Luke. Thank you so much for joining us and good luck with the rest of your racing career. Good luck next year. And who knows, maybe we'll see you uh, at a racetrack soon. Hopefully. All right. We'll see you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.